car. Alright, shit. This has been kind of disappointing so far. I mean, we've had one interesting model, and we've just had some stiff models, so I'm wondering what is up next, so I'm just going to go back to this again. I know, Chad, you're probably like, what the hell is he doing? Again, I break up my VOD. I usually break my VODs up into 30 minute increments uh, to post them over on the Yuba, Yuba tubes. But with these, I have to break them up more. So, I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Dreaded Brids, here with a Dreaded Hobbies watch along of the Warhammer preview show. So some things I have to say right off the bat, I am a fan of the actual hobby itself. Painting the models, reading the books, loving the lore, playing the games, having fun and talking to people about the hobby. What I'm not a fan of is GW and its current take with its consumer base. Them blocking people on Twitter because they brought up uh, questions about female custodies. Uh, the fake fans coming in threatening women for asking questions about female custodies or simply saying they don't like the female custodies. I don't like the price hikes that they decided to do. And I don't like the way they've just been treating the true fans of the hobby for a while. It kind of sucks. So with that, I will say, if you have a 3D printer, print your own proxies. If you still want to buy models, don't buy them new. Buy them used off of eBay or buy them from a third party, not from GW. If the hobby does go under, which at some point I'm thinking it will be, right as of right now, it is lacking creativity. And when it does go under, we will still have the books, we will still have the models, and no one will be able to take that away from us. Let's continue to enjoy the hobby. Let's continue to fight for the hobby that we love. And uh, let's get into this preview, shall we? Already here. I'm probably going to have to mute this. Some awesome announcements there straight out of the 41st millennium. Now I've got a feeling our Horus Heresy fans are going to really enjoy this next part. Let's check out some news straight from Mars. Ooh. This is a new model. He's pointing at the next guy who's going to get yeeted. Very, 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 very cool. see what we have here chat oh for those of you who are new and wondering why the hell that i have the mic muted or the music muted for the preview i get id claims a lot from false companies claiming that they own the music companies from korea south america and so on and so forth and i got tired of fighting the claim so that's that's why it's muted and we've got some techno zombies here and it would be better if that one was drilled out more the the barrel but let's see what we've got brains actually i'm pretty sure they're not oh, my model pretty sure they're not saying brains i'm pretty sure they're probably saying brains and in internet dial-up tones that'd be terrifying yep we have tech thralls i have no idea how to say this but i do like this this picture's pretty cool right here pretty terrifying the war machine is unleashed. Ooh, we've got new robots. We've got Thalax Corhort. Cool. Very cool. I do like these heads. I don't know if these guys are going to be in plastic or if they are going to be resin. That is... Ooh. 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 We've got new ca uh, Castellax Battle Automata models. These guys are, ooh, ooh, look at that. He's got giant pizza cutters. Oh, oh, man. Italians and the 30. All right, first millennia. <laughs> I can make that joke, chat. I'm part Italian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laugh, laughing. It's a hot the gabagoo, and he just... Just <laughs> Alrighty. I'm having too much fun, Jack. Too much fun. He just cuts down a Traitus Marine with his giant pizza cutting saws. Oh. 
That guy's got, oh, he's, he's got a giant stapler thing back there. All right. Very, very, very cool. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right. So, so 30K is getting some love. I do love that. That is, I don't know why, but that reminds me of something from like Terminator. Um, I, this just reads like ye old fashioned car slash train, which is very kind of sexy to me. I don't know. I really, really like this. It's, it's too bad that I never got into, to the tech boys. Uh, but this is a very, very gorgeous model. I wonder if the bottom is going to be hollow, though, or going to have issues. I also don't know if it's going to be in plastic or if it's resin. I have a feeling if this thing's in resin, it's going to be a pain in the butt to put together. We've got some more cool robots. We've got some zombie boys in the back. All right, let's go. And the galaxy trembles. Whoa. Oh, I like he. I like this big chungus guy. Oh my god, that's. Oh, let me just get a drink real quick, chat. But oh my god, that big chungus, he's so sexy and red. Oh. Sorry, Chet, but this is a very sexy boy. Very big chungus. I, I like this guy. He's got his smashy, smashy claws of doom. He's got a big old dock of death. He's got whatever the hell that thing is. That thing looks like it can mute, nuke something. I do love the chrome head. It's very, very sexy. Oh, that's it's, it's my boy. He's another big Italian robot. I wonder if he actually does have a brain, because I know these guys had human brains in them at one point, so I wonder if he does too. Ooh. He's a big head boy. Again, this guy's this guy's pretty cool too. He's got this uh, pizza hat of doom. And that was a prime. I wonder if that thing's the size of, like, a small knight. Feel the omnisize wrath. Find out more. The Horus Heresy. All rulers of the Red Planets are coming to the Horus Heresy. I'm joined by Quinn and Will from the studio to chat all things Mechanicum. Both, welcome to the show. Thank you very thank much. You. How are you doing? Good? Yeah, yeah good. good. How are you? Lovely. Yeah, very good, thank you. So, the Mechanicum has arrived. Tell us a little bit about this new army. I just... Went an army of these guys with the pizza cutters. I would call them, I don't know what I would call them, but God, they're just, they're so cool looking. I'm sorry I'm gushing, but they are. They're very, they're very, very cool looking. They're very deadly looking. I love the survey, the servo skull. I almost say it's survey skull in the middle. And they've got another one up here. Train chat, the train of doom is coming. It's very, very. Very sexy models. Uh, for the Horus Heresy and what they bring with them to the Age of Dogs. So the Mechanicum is an existing army range for the Horus Heresy. Mm -hmm. You can already get their full army rules in the Liber Mechanicum. They've existed since the first edition of the Heresy. It's a slowly expanding resin range from the original set. Mm -hmm. that started so I pointed out this last time in the last thing that they did. There seems to be... Which you can clearly tell, either he's nervous to be on camera, or what I think is going on is there is a very big discord going on between the creators in the back, with them not being happy with things being either muted or changed, um, and I think that's going on with, I think that's kind of what's going on. I could be wrong though, but from his expression, he's either nervous or he's just, he's he's not happy and he's, he's he's trying to be happy he's trying to put on a face um to show off the product but something something's not right 
and you can tell something's not right because there's been a lot of lack of creativity in some of their new releases that GW's put out. Um, this this whole this whole stream is a big pile of mostly disappointment. Um, a lot of the models so far have just kind of lacked cool. It's been you know we had the Sisters of Battle, which is a cool faction. They got very generic and stiff posed models that can fly uh, but they only come in packs of four we had the mega mine model which which was neat but again it didn't show off anything really new and then we got these guys these guys are very very cool but again it it's not it would have been better for a full army release than just just a snid bit started at the very beginning and now we're getting the opportunity to revisit them in a similar way to the Solar Auxilia. Okay. They're fieldable as a dedicated army or as an allied detachment. Legion players can also include them in their army list using certain console choices. So it's a great opportunity for players who field any force to get interest in the range. So there's also some new kits in plastic arriving as well for loyalists and traitors alike. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Yeah, so... Um, all of these kits have been with us for quite a long time in, in resin, mm. um, but it was good to get the opportunity to uh, to rework them in in plastic and take advantage of uh, of the opportunities that 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 process gives us. Mm. So, talk to me a bit more about that process. What in terms of sort of refreshing that range, like from resin to plastic, what's that like? Yeah, well, both processes have. Um, quite different limitations and advantages. Mm -hmm. So you have quite a lot of freedom with resin where you don't have to worry about the uh, the tool. Um, lots of undercuts and things like that. Sorry, Jay, I really don't have much to say right now because I'm just soaking in trying to read facial expressions and body language. Um, again, this guy, he doesn't care. So yeah. they're not necessarily the best designs to uh, you probably wouldn't have made them that way in the first place if you knew you were making them as a plastic okay, kit. yes um, but then that gives you uh, actually quite an interesting challenge when you do turn around to do that the the, the most difficult part is probably breaking them down into their component forms because mm. in, in resin you end up with a kind of a small number of large complex components whereas in in plastic you have to end up with a, a larger number of smaller less complex components yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it gives you opportunities to do things as well like for example in the um, in the Thanatar. Mm. I love this model, Chet. It is, I don't know why, it's so big and chunky and just, it looks dangerous. And this kind of reminds me of Robocop 2. Maybe that's why I like it. Kane, addicted to his nuke, about to go stomp out some boys. Oh. Um, the, the plasma, um, I can't remember what that's called. Plasma now, bombard. It? Plasma bombard. Uh, was always intended to sort of open like a, like a flower when it fires. Okay. Um, but, we, we couldn't give you two parts in resin because yeah. you know it, it adds too much to the cost of the kit. Mm. Whereas on plastic, you, if you have the frame space, you get the opportunity to add in those optional parts. So I do like that that model is coming in plastic and that makes me very, very happy, but I don't know about the rest of the models, chat. So you can get a bit more variety when, mm. you, when you build your collection. Nice, well, you guys have done a, an absolutely fantastic job with them as well. So talk us through what's on the table and this range refresh from Mechanicum. So what you can see on the table is partly what is in the new Battle Force box for the Mechanicum. You have six Thalax, you have nice. a Triaros armoured carrier. Very, very sexy machine red there. You have two Castellax. Right. You also have... My Italian boy with his pizza cutters of doom. ...have 20 tech thralls, and in addition to the contents of the box, you have a new Arc Magos model and a redesign of the Thanatar. Very nice. Let's, so let's highlight these, uh, the infantry then. Talk to us a little bit more about those text walls. Okay, so they, the opportunity was taken here to um, bring them a little bit more in line with the original background for them, adding a lot more of that kind of shambling undead feel. You know, if you look closely at them, then they have a lot of like disjointed limbs, dragged feet, that kind of stuff. So they've got a lot more character than the old resin versions. Mm. Otherwise, they, they've tried to keep quite true to, to the originals in, in, co in the original models in concept, at least, you know. Mm. Um, just, again, an opportunity to update and improve as we move from resin to plastic. So we've got the Arch Magos on the table. Will, what can you tell us about this? 
so yeah, this guy's a, a new uh, a new model altogether. The main goal was to try and differentiate the Mechanicum from the Adeptus Mechanicus that you'll mm. find in 40K. So they do look very familiar. Um, but there's things like they're a little bit uh, like lighter feeling, less less of the uh, layered carapace armor, and slightly different look to their equipment. So, uh, for example, this this uh, this character's got a, a stave, whereas normal. I do like the I do like the look of this model. I will say that um, I do like his little his, his little square pulp hat of doom, the big generator on his back. He's got the the gat right there. It just overall, it's it's a very nice model. The pointing finger, though, I wish she was doing something else than just pointing over there. Again, I think that's just kind of a very generic thing that their GW does. Also with the tactical rock and some of the other choices they, they just have decided to do. Um, I think it would be funny if they, they actually redid this so he was, like, flicking off the enemy or something, but... Uh, Normally you'd see a lot of axes, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, that's that's the main goal. Well, Quinn, Will, thank you so much for popping in to chat to us about all things Mechanicum. We're super excited for them to arrive in the Horus Heresy. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks. Don't go anywhere because we've got lots more coming for the Horus Heresy right after this. Alrighty, chat. That was that. So to the people over on YouTube, bye-bye.